Well, here in the northwest suburbs, we have access to parks, lakes, the Mississippi River, and the experts who know those ecosystems well. In today's School Spotlight, Delane Cleveland introduces us to a Brooklyn Park school that incorporates all of those natural resources into its curriculum. Learning doesn't always have to happen in a classroom full of desks and textbooks. Why is it not a hitchhiker? For proof. They're on seed hunts. They're looking at how the environment is impacting the daily plants that they have. Look no further than Champlin Brooklyn Park Academy. We have a large number of kids coming from other neighborhood schools that just want this experience. It's a specialty school in the Unoka Hennepin School District with a focus on math and the environment. It's a cat. To help the teachers get their message across, they have a greenhouse and a garden at their disposal. They don't realize just how unique this place is. They think that every elementary school is just like CBPA with a greenhouse, with raised bed gardens. The school has a unique set of resources. But there is another big teaching tool they use, the Mississippi River. It's wonderful because it's, you know, a lot of kids live right by here. You know, and it's, it's right in their backyard. So it, it's, if, for science, it's wonderful. We're catching stuff in the water. This activity at the Coon Rapids Dam involves a group of third graders searching the river for insect larvae. They're talking about the differences between the river insects and the pond insects. We will go to the pond in May and then compare the two. Leading this excursion is a naturalist from the Three Rivers Park District. A fairy shrimp? It's part of a partnership that's been around since the early 2000s. We see uh, the naturalist once a month. And sometimes it's here, sometimes it's at school, but there's some kind of different focus every month. And all the grade levels are different, so they're all doing different things. It's just one of the many ways the students learn about science outside of textbooks. If we tried to explain this in a classroom, especially if you're, it's like a Friday afternoon or something, you're losing them. I mean, they've been excited about this since they found out about it. Ultimately, the students benefit by learning how the environment impacts their lives. It's a fact not lost on parents. I think this is all really good for the kids to learn and grow and respect the animals and the water and the plants and things like that. So whether it's at the Mississippi River. You are using your eyes only. Or in a garden on campus. This hands-on experience can put the students on a path to become scientists or mathematicians. When they can touch the plants, when they can see the different senses that are involved in the plants, it sinks into their brain and they keep it or retain it. If the students choose a different path, then at the very least, they learn to appreciate the environment. This is the, the best way to learn, I think. In Brooklyn Park, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. In addition to its partnership with Three Rivers, Champlin Brooklyn Park Academy also teams up with experts from the University of Minnesota, the Minnesota Zoo, and the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum.